Hey guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you one of the decks that I built for my playthrough of Thronebreaker. Now the idea of this deck in particular is that it revolves around the use of Alchemist and Forager. Now a lot of people mention the use of Alchemist and Forager with the use of the Spies which you know will take uh, the value of the opposing the cards that are next to them you can place them here they go now play, pay no attention to the fact that I have all cards and this is pretty early in the game um, it's really hard to record a video of this because Thronebreaker has only one save and there's no way to replay battles so I had to do some file editing and give myself all cards early in the game so anyway um, the Strace Infiltrator. The upgraded version will, on tur after two turns, boost this enemy by the combined power of adjacent units. Now, if you use this, after two turns, you can get a massive boost to this card. And when you play it next to a Forager, you can use the Forager to destroy this card and boost Forager. Then you can get, and then you can use Alchemist to copy the value of Forager which will be in the high 60s or whatever to other cards that's basically the idea of this deck now the difference is i'm using the lyrian scytheman for this and the reason i'm using these guys is because these guys will be boosted by seven every time that you use your uh, that you use meve's ability and i have warhammer which has one of the lowest cooldowns and allows me to basically decide which card I'm gonna draw from my deck using the Regiment Drummer. Play the top unit from your deck. If it was a Blitz unit, repeat this ability. So I'm gonna be using this, Meave's Warhammer, and some pull cards like this one to make sure that I can get a whole bunch of cards in every single round. That's why I'm running 29 cards of the minimum of 25 most decks most builders will tell you to run the lowest amount of cards possible but you know if you can pull a lot of cards then that shouldn't be a problem so the reason i'm using the Illyrian scytheman and not the strace infiltrator is because i can boost these guys by quite a bit by using by spamming the warhammer and i don't want i don't have to wait three turns for these guys to return because it's one turn to deploy and then two turns for them to return to be able to use forager so i'm gonna get into a battle right now as i said this is basically chapter two but i have every single card that the game has available to me because that's the only way i could basically record this video without having to play through the entire game again Okay, so we have Lyrian Scytheman, a guy that we're going to use to be able to draw more cards. Two guys. We have five in the deck in total. So this should be what we need. We don't need more than this. Let's just finish redrawing and we're going to place a Regiment Drummer. Again, again, and again. one of these guys yeah let's just get one of the alchemists because that's all we need now I might have placed the Illyrian Scytheman first because that way I would get the boost but you know okay here we go so what we're gonna do is boost the Lyrian Scythemen, use the Forger to destroy them, use the Alchemist to copy their value um, to other guys. Okay, we're gonna boost these guys ideally as many times as you can. I hope they don't kill my alchemist because, you know, that would be no good. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're gonna place the forger right here. He's gonna destroy these two guys. He's gonna boost himself. Then we're gonna get the alchemist to copy his value to other cards. And we're gonna even use the disgraced warrior because that will make him be able to basically kill any unit. So let's just get one more boost for these guys. Now he's passed, whatever. We're gonna show you how the, this works. So we place this guy right there. It's the day, the day. We boost them. We're gonna get more pull power for the next round. We eat them. Copy. And now we have... Let's just kill this guy. Now this guy is gonna attack. And then my Disgraced Warrior is going to attack him. And that's easy. Right? Let's go to the next round. Oh, I'm going to have to... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's just do whatever. Just pass... Now we're gonna get a lot of draw power, and I'm gonna show you the second part of this builder. You know, how it would work ideally. You have to rely on draw power a lot on these guys. Army's wasted time. So we want to get Mr. Reynard. Even more. Left, right, left, right. Okay, and I want to get some of these guys because these guys are going to provide, um, you know, the pull, the power. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Discipline shall bring Initially, us this. Reynard only restores charges when you deploy him, but since I have the upgraded card, he will do that as well every time I use my Meave's ability, which, as you might expect, works wonderful. So, Greetings. let's get more cards what is it? here. And what I like about not using the spy guys, the infiltrators, is that I can place my cards wherever I want and I don't have to wait for them to come back. They fall on the right and, you know, I'm not ha having to play around with where these guys are going to fall. Again and again and again. So we're gonna repeat, um, let's just get one card here, okay that works, you mad? Don't shake that. place this, this here, now we do the plant. Warhammer thing, actually I could do this and lower somebody's value if I could, because Reynard will reset the Alchemist when I use the Warhammer, so you know. I'm not going to use it now because I don't really need it. This is pretty much the same because I'm still going to get a bunch of draw power right there. Let's do that. Get one guy there. Waiting for a personal invitation. This could hurt. And uh, let's just do this so now and you've seen you, <laughs> I played, you can play so many cards by just using these guys and Meeve's Warhammer which will let you choose you know you can use one of these guys to pull two of these guys so it's insane the the possibilities the combos that you can pull off with this and if one of my units were damaged 
Um, this guy is five, so I use if I use Mer Lyrian Merlot, he will get boosted by 37. But I don't want to do that because he's on the right, so I can't copy his value to anybody. But ideally, and and in a lot of battles, you will have people wounded across you know the battlefield, and you can use this to boost them and then use Alchemist to further copy his value. So let's just use this right there. And now we can hit these guys. And this, I played with the Lyri with the Stray's Infiltrator guys. And the thing with that is that um, this is much more consistent, in my opinion, because it allows you to be faster in your deployment and choose where your cards are going to be all the time and not having to rely on waiting for them to come back to then put your forager and stuff like that now if you're using Isbel the destroyer you have to put her next to somebody that has you know some value because if not she's gonna get destroyed before she can use her ability but to remedy that, you do this. That will reset everybody's ability thanks to awesome Reynard. And problem solved. Because nobody's going to be able to destroy a 42 value unit just yet. And, you know, we can do whatever we want. Watch your heads. Just keep <laughs> getting value out of these guys. We can um, copy this, use this guy to destroy whoever, but since it's our last turn, we're not going to be able to use the 62 damage that she would deal to everybody and would destroy everybody because my turn is over, but that's fine. So I hope you understood how this works and you liked it. You can get much higher than 270, uh, 257. Uh, I will post a screenshot right now. I got it um, over 1,200. But that was using these infiltrators. Because if you know that your enemy will put down powerful units, then maybe don't use the Lyrian Scytheman. Use the infiltrators and do the same thing. But you're going to want to probably place your foragers to the right and that's gonna limit the amount of cards values that you can copy with alchemist if i had done this earlier then i could have used my alchemist to basically reset uh reynard with the warhammer and copy values all across the board now you might be wondering if this deck is at all effective if you don't have you know the upgraded version of every single card of the Lyrian Scytheman of the Regiment Drummer and so on and I would say it is you know it's obviously not as good especially because you can't spam Reynard's you know uh, repeat order ability but it is still extremely extremely good and it can be used in the first few parts of the game in Mahakam and I guess the Scoyatel, it's not that good because they tend to do damage, added damage against boosted units. But the the amount that you boost the Lyrian Scytheman almost always outweighs or outnumbers the, the amount of damage that they'll be doing. So it does work, you know, and as I said before, I believe the trinkets are very situational you can use them to tweak the deck you know if you're running into enemies with a lot of um of very high value you can use the you can change it change the scytheman to the infiltrators because that will work in that case maybe stay away from the strace bombers and replace them for these guys the slingers so you can tweak it, but I hope you get the main idea. Okay, nice choice. hope you guys liked it. And maybe I'll do another video on another deck 
which is really fun to use. That's more for the early game. So stay tuned for that and leave your comment or like if you enjoyed this and want to see more about this game or more deck ideas in general. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.